And I'm back guys, back in the international part of the terminal here in Toronto. It has been a whole six months since I arrived back in Canada and I haven't uh, traveled anywhere else internationally. So I feel a little rusty. I feel like uh, today is going to be a challenging day because me and my dad, who you'll be meeting in just a little bit, are flying all the way to Hanoi, Vietnam. Now we did get some very good tickets, like the tickets we got were very well priced, you know, for what they are. I think we both paid about like 850 Canadian dollars, about 600 US for a one-way flight there. And we are flying with good airlines, Air Canada um, and ANA. But the flight path, especially for my dad, who's coming all the way from Saskatoon, he had to get up at 3 a.m. to catch his 5.30 flight to Toronto here. I'll be meeting him right when he gets past security. And then together we're gonna to be flying to Tokyo, which is a 14 hour flight. And then from there, uh, after we have like a two hour connection, it's a seven hour flight to Hanoi. So round trip is over 30 hours uh, for us to get to Vietnam today. It is going to be a very long day, but nevertheless, I am so excited to be here and very happy to be spending the winter uh, somewhere a bit warmer. Just to show you guys how much luggage I'm traveling with for the next six months, it's actually not a lot when you think about it. But of course, that is my check-in. That is my carry-on with all of my gear my computer I have my little purse I got a jacket since it's cold right now in Canada and I will be flying with Air Canada luckily it doesn't look like there's a line so I'm gonna go ahead and get checked in Look who it is! Well, I look here, you had the uh, E77 and they had on the thing 71. That's why I didn't find you. No, you found me. Hello. I'm okay. All right, Dad, I'm going to be taking you to your first lounge. Have you ever been in a lounge no, before? No, I've never been in a lounge. All right, well, you're Not about to find out. Not enough for a lounge. Yeah, you are. I'm just an old farm boy. <laughs> All right, Dad, everything is free, so you can no, get whatever you, you want. <laughs> yeah, well, I paid for it with my $699 Amex card, so enjoy it. Yeah, so we each $600 in one. Got to get your money's worth. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> All right, look at that. We got some great breakfast. What do you think, Dad? It pays to travel with Alina. <laughs> it sure and does. With all the ins and outs <laughs> of everything. Yeah, and what's also nice is we're here at like 10.30, so they're just finishing breakfast, but now they're gonna put out lunch, so you can have lunch here as well. I don't have enough room for that. <laughs> Getting the Amex Platinum was definitely a game changer for me, even though it is expensive. I think it's worth it because you do get a whole bunch of lounges all around the world. You get like a travel credit, a dining credit. And using these lounges really does make the experience of travel so much more relaxing. You tend to have more space, you can get a snack, they have much better Wi-Fi usually than the regular Wi-Fi they have in the airport. And speaking of Wi-Fi, another thing that I definitely don't leave home without when traveling is a good VPN. So a very big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. You guys know that that is my go-to VPN for years now when I travel. I always have it on my phone and also on my 
computer. For those of you who don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network, which basically helps keep you safe online, especially if you're using public Wi-Fi. Surfshark VPN encrypts your data as well as your location, meaning you can use websites that wouldn't readily be available in that country. For example, I've had a lot of instances where I've had issues accessing my banking when I've been abroad and that is that is not good. So it's great that I can just switch my location back to Canada and it opens up browsers the same as if I actually was in Canada. Surfshark VPN also gives you a wider access to different streaming services such as Netflix or Hulu depending on the location you use. If you upgrade to the Surfshark 1 package, you also get enhanced privacy and security features like an antivirus to protect your devices and Surfshark Alert if there has been any personal information leaks through your IDs or credit cards. Right now they're actually having a very special Black Friday promotion where you get 81% off of your plan as well as 6 months for free by using my code Alina McLeod. I will have the link in the description. I definitely recommend Surfshark VPN when traveling to keep you safe online highly recommend. Are you ready for a 14 hour long flight to Tokyo? Never ready for that. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> should have a place that you can have a bed that you could lay down for 14 hours. There is. It's called first class. It only costs six thousand oh, dollars. Okay. <laughs> All right. You change your mind <laughs> once you saw the seats. <laughs> well, guys, I would be lying to you if I said that it was an easy flight. It certainly was not. I don't know if the space in airplanes truly is getting smaller or I forget <laughs> after every really long flight uh, just how uncomfortable it is to sleep at least in economy class on such a long haul flight. So unfortunately I didn't get much sleep and neither did my dad. We both had to get up a lot to stretch our legs and to just make things more tolerable. But nevertheless, we made it to Tokyo and thankfully on time because we only had an hour and a half long connection. Well, we made it to Tokyo. So far. I do not recommend 14 hour flights in economy anyway. Obviously, if a person was in business class, it would have been much more enjoyable, but that was rough. How are you doing, Dad? Okay, now. Yeah. Luckily, our flight here in Tokyo actually got delayed by about 15 minutes, which is around the time of how much we're late. But still, it is a tight connection. We only have about half an hour here, so we gotta, we gotta get going. Yes, yeah, now we're in civilization. Civilization? Yeah. And we have our gate. We have succeeded. Yeah. Now we got 30 minutes to walk around yeah, the airport, maybe get some kind of fun Japanese snacks. It's gonna be great. So one thing that my dad really loves is matcha tea, right? Yeah. The too. good green stuff. So I think why don't we get you one here at uh, Beck's Coffee. Do you want a hot or cold one? It's kind of hot. Do you want a cold one? Or do you want a hot one? Medium. Well, you have to choose. I guess you'll cool off. I you, don't know what you prefer. Well, I'm gonna get a coffee, but I'd say since it's hot, get a cold one. Okay, but get cold. All right. So the last time that you were in Japan, Dad, was when I was modeling here. I think when I was 17, and you came to Japan. Yeah. What was your first impressions? First impression: how clean, how friendly and how efficient they are Yes. with everything. Exactly. All right, let's do a taste test here. Iced matcha latte. 
fantastic. Another benefit I forgot about when traveling through Tokyo is I was able to pop into the drugstore and get my favorite uh, face sunscreen that's only like $10 and would be so difficult to find in Canada. So I'm pretty excited. I think the gods had mercy on us for the second flight, which I am so thankful for. I strangely have had this happen before though, where for some reason, because I had Econo Flex with Air Canada when I booked my ticket, I was able to book premium economy with ANA for no extra charge. Maybe I shouldn't even be saying this because maybe this is a glitch on their system and I don't want them to find out. But when choosing the seats, I knew that the ones at the top were for premium economy. So obviously I chose those and it didn't cost me any extra. Obviously it was so much more comfortable. So we were able to get some sleep before we arrived in Hanoi. Well, we are officially in Vietnam. Right. <laughs> How does it feel? Good to be on the ground. And at least we slept on that flight, yes. right? That this did was help much a bit. Better. Definitely. We actually got in a little bit early. I think we were supposed to get in at 11.20. So somehow ANA, like, I don't know, took an hour off the flight. Don't know how that's possible. But it's about 10.45 right now. So we are going to go get our luggage. And then I ordered a uh, pickup service from our hotel to come directly to pick us up here because it wasn't that much money. So that'll make things easier. We got my suitcase and now we are just waiting on my dad. And we got the last piece of the puzzle. How nice. Yeah. We got everything. Uh, now, ideally, we should take some money out and get SIM cards as well, but that's probably out there. All right, we are all good to go. Got Viettel uh, 5G plan. I think he said it was 120 gigabytes uh, for 15 US dollars for 30 days. So what a deal. Uh, took out some money, but of course the fees in the airports are super high. We're just going to have to um, get my dad money once we're in the city tomorrow. But let's go see if our taxi is waiting for us out there. Well, after a 30 hour flight day, even longer from my dad, cause he's coming from Saskatchewan, <laughs> we have made it to our hotel. <laughs> I am so happy. This is the Silk House and Castle, I think is the name of it. I'll put it here guys. But dad, you actually don't know how much we paid cause I book everything. How much do you think we're paying for this room in Canadian dollars and it's breakfast included for two people. Well, I'll say 30. You're right on the dot. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that a great deal? Like, I mean, this is a room with no window. That's, That's the only thing. For the both of us. For the both of us. So it's 15 each. Yes. With breakfast you included. You can't get life any better than that. <laughs> no, in Canada, even if you go to like A&W nowadays with like, you know, the tax or whatever, it's like $13, $14. So. Well, my last meal in Canada at the Saskatoonian, it was a nice buffet and everything. $30. Yeah, exactly. And tip. Yeah, exactly. So, so like... $36. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is 30 Canadian dollars a night. And for anybody who doesn't understand that, I think that's about 23, 24 US right now with the exchange rate. And we are in basically the heart of 
the old town in Hanoi. We're near the lake, which is a great area, and this place had pretty good reviews, so it'll be a nice place to rest our heads. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What is the longest flight that you have ever done? What was it like? Once again, a very big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have their Black Friday deal uh, linked in the description, definitely check it out. And yeah, this is officially the start of our Southeast Asia adventures. So I hope you guys are excited and I'm sending you so much love and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.